Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Destiny Michelle. Um, you might know me as Namiko Cha from my Instagram or my TikTok, but my name is Destiny Michelle. Welcome to my channel. So, um, I might be a little bit nervous because it's my first like real video of the one that I made. I kind of messed up on it. was like a failed thrift store like haul thing. Yeah, it just didn't really work out well. I'm gonna try to do better with my editing and everything, but this is gonna be my first real video, so if you can bear with me. Yeah, we're gonna loosen up and get to know each other. Shit. Everybody from my Instagram already know how I am, so yeah. But today, we're gonna be focusing on how I achieve my lash look because everyone asks me all the time, or people have purchased lashes, like the lashes that I wear, or they purchase lashes from me because I do sell lashes, which I'll do a video like highlighting my actual like lashes and like which ones I sell, the styles that I have. I have a couple and highlighting my business. But today I just want to focus on the technique. And a lot of people are like, I bought your lashes, but they don't look like how they look in your pictures. And I want to show you what I do to get them the products that I use. And today I actually am doing a PR from a company from my Instagram. So I kind of want to shout them out and you guys can go head on over to their website their page go show them some love and we're gonna get on into it so if you like this so far like the video share comment subscribe i really 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 appreciate it and let's get into it so these are the lashes and they are from xx.pressure um on ig um very 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 nice customer service i really appreciate them they're very vocal with their customers and they make sure that you get what you need um i got a couple of things from them go on my instagram if you want to look at like exactly what i got because i'll go more in depth there i like to keep my business on instagram so that they can get you know the clicks and everything but yeah um these are the lashes i like them because they're like spaced out y'all know i like big blinks i can't wear anything but but um yeah they're spaced out i like that they're not going to be as full but they're also going to be dramatic and that's kind of my style that's my thing so we're gonna get into it but these are the lashes and they are from xx.pressure on ig so check them out so to start off you're gonna need some scissors i literally burnt the edge off of this because i set it on my stove when my stove was on not recently but they've just been like this but they still work so we're gonna still use them um <laughs> um you're gonna need scissors to cut down the lash to size because not everybody lashes the same size they literally make them big on purpose so that they can you can cut them down so that they're not making them too small for someone's eye shape so please don't just take them out the pack and put them on your eye i cannot tell you how many times i've seen people do it and they like they make their face look so droopy and it bothers me wholeheartedly because you could be wearing your lashes completely different and that's what i'm going to show you today because if i were to apply my lashes to the lash line it would look droopy so that's why i'm applying them with a different method so cut your lashes please um next is eyeliner i'm cheap as hell i'm sorry if i can look good for less money i'm going to this is from the dollar store like the brand has literally rubbed off like there's i think i i think it was la colors but it's a liquid eyeliner it does the job perfectly fine i don't wear drastic everyday long wear eyeliner makeup looks so this to conceal what we're gonna conceal real quick is doing the job just fine um lash glue jesus christ i have everything up here ready for me and i still didn't know where this was anyway this is super stronghold eyelash adhesive i got this from the beauty supply store i think it was like 2.99 um does a good job it holds for me all day long i don't have inner corner issues i just make sure i put a dollop more like two blobs on my inner and outer corner like just so that i know that it's gonna stick so i don't really have any problems with it and then of course your lashes and a pair of tweezers to apply if you need them i have long nails on right now so i'd rather use these just because these are not sharp enough for me to use them as if they're tweezers they're kind of stumpy and long so i'm gonna use these so we're gonna get into that so if you don't know how to measure on your eyes basically what you do is you take the lash straight out the pack and you put it on your eye and I'm going to look in this mirror that's over here if you see me looking. But I see that I got to cut off like one of these extra pieces at the end. Um, just by looking at it because I've been wearing lashes for so long, I know normally how much I have to cut off is two spaces. But because there's this space in between, that would have been the little second space. So I'm cutting those two spaces away, which is really only one little piece of hair 
but if there was another piece of hair there like most lashes that would have been two spaces so i'm gonna cut off that one space with the extra um i was gonna say cap like we're doing wigs right now um the extra lash line and we're gonna cut that off and i'll show you the next step there's really no rhyme or reason to it just literally take the scissors meet up right before like don't cut into the hair and please be careful don't just chop down i would say move a little bit slow i didn't even close the scissors all the way and so i can preserve those hairs so y'all can see that so i can preserve those hairs because if i were just to cut fast it would have it wouldn't have worked it would have just cut and snipped these edge hairs right here and i wouldn't have wouldn't have had the look that i was going for so now we have perfect size lash lash size that we're looking for and sometimes depending on like how i cut the lash i cut this one and it really doesn't matter because it's in a circle so i can't tell which one was meant for the right and which one was meant for the left and also pro tip look at look at what kind of lashes that you have um if you have the kind of lashes that the lashes on the inner corner are shorter in length than the lashes on the outer corner please cut when you're cutting the excess length off from the outer corner because you're going to want that flare you're going to want that little length in the beginning that's the entire point of the lashes now when you have lashes like these that are relatively the same length throughout the entire lash you can cut from wherever um but what i noticed was when i cut from this side these are v-shaped with one side of hair longer and one side of hair shorter and this is the shorter side so me noticing that this is the shorter side and that this is way out here i'm gonna use this one to be on this eye because it's gonna give an elongation effect out here i know that's probably like some crazy science shit, but if i were to put it on this eye this inner corner would be shorter than this outer corner and it just wouldn't look ooh, as right so i'm gonna put it on this eye and with that knowing that instead of cutting this one from this side i'm gonna cut it from this side so that i can mirror that same effect and i'm gonna use it for this eye so let's so now i have my second lash and instead of cutting it like how i did when i placed it right here i cut it off of this side so i'm gonna cut it off of the opposite side right here oh okay and i like to keep those lash clippings because sometimes i get and i'll make another video about this because it's also been requested a lot um i will make like very dramatic lashes or if i feel like a, a lash needs for a specific look needs more va va voom i will use those to put in like on the the outer corner to give it that flare so i hold on to all of my lash clippings because you can either make customized like extra like like drag makeup but not really drag makeup lashes or you can make like those like tiktok lashes with a real flared out real e-girl ish i just always keep mine you never know i always keep mine so we have our two lashes and i'm gonna set them down in front of me accordingly because i'm a little slow y'all actually i'm really smart but kind of slow so i'm gonna set them accordingly based off of like left and right and now i have them in front of me and i'm going to start with my glue so I use the glue I already told y'all. I have a little glue residue left on my stuff, but we're gonna walk through like how I apply my glue. A lot of people will say to apply it to the lash line, I mean to the to the lashes itself, but and that's fine and everything, but what I've learned is that wherever I stick that glue, and if it just so happens to be in the wrong spot, if it's wet, it's gonna make my entire eyelid stick together. Like it's just gonna be if I apply it accidentally and sneeze and I apply it right here then my it's gonna be really sticky when i try to open and close my eyes don't really fuck with that then um if it's dry it's just gonna stick to wherever i put it so if i put it up here instead of on my lash line it's gonna sit there and now i have to take it off risk having to reapply glue and then now i have to remove glue because there's too much on my lashes it just becomes too much i've just learned that it's better to apply it this way with clear glue um if you're really skilled you can do it with black glue but i use clear and like i was saying earlier my eye shape is pretty almondy um they're round but they're pretty almond as far as like the opening and they lift up a little bit but the problem is my underside lifts up and my upper my upper side goes down and i don't get the same effect with my like 
with my eyes it makes my eyes look really really small and when i try to put lashes on correctly it kind of drags down my face because now my lashes are going down this way not really fucking with that especially when my natural eye shape goes up this ending corner is higher than this outer corner which means my eyes do go up it's just that they curve right back down on the top and i don't really fuck with that so what we're gonna do and I've actually been accused of Asian fishing when I do this. I am not Asian. Let me just throw that out there. I know my, my username is like kind of Asian sounding, but no, um, I am African American and white. My mother is of mixed background. She is black and white and my father is African American. So, um, I am not Asian, nor am I trying to Asian fish. I know that the intention is not always the important thing. Um, but I'm not trying to offend anyone. I just know what's best for my eye shape and how my eye shape naturally is. And for this, I kind of have to reconstruct it. So please, please, I'm not trying to offend anybody. Um, that's never my thing. That's never been my, my cup of tea. But we're going to just jump on ahead. So I'm going to go from... Did I get lip gloss on the tip of my nose? I sure did. Anyway, so we're going to take it closest to your lash line as you possibly can and you see where I have that white now when we get to now this is perfect for my eye shape I don't know if you guys have my eye shape do what works best for you but I'm showing you what I do so if you have a similar eye shape go ahead but as soon as I get up to the highest point of my eye I'm just instead of going back down I'm gonna go straight out straight out just like that I just want to bring it out because that's the shape that my eye is so we're gonna go straight out and boom and while this dries and turns clear I'll be doing it on the other eye so applying it to the inner corner close to the lash line as I possibly can you can make it kind of thick if you want it to like last all day um i'm probably just gonna take pictures for instagram or something but okay straight out now we have that so i'm gonna take my tweezers and i'm gonna take the lashes there's this little piece Okay, anyway, um, take the lashes. These are really, really fluffy, by the way. Which I always like that in a good lash. I don't like lashes that stick straight out. It just gives me very much broom vibes and I just can't. But we're just gonna apply it. I'm trying to show you guys in real time. Partly because editing, <laughs> but then partly because I want you guys to see how long this process takes me. But I just put the middle down. The, the two sides are not stuck yet. I like to apply the outer corner first. So it looks like this. And then make sure that inner corner is really close. Because we're not trying to apply eyeliner to the entire eye. We're just trying to apply it to the gap. So I'm going to repeat the same thing with the next eye. And then so now we have our lashes on with this ridiculous ass gap. But we're going to fix that. So when I got clocked and they were on my ass about me Asian fishing, um, and I'm not trying to say that in a term like Asian fishing, I'm just saying like that's the term that was being used and that's why I put it on quotation marks, like to quote what they were saying I was doing. Um, it was because I didn't apply this eyeliner step correctly and so it was kind of noticeable that I had did it. But any other time, no one has ever been able to clock me like as far as like how my eyeliner is done. But anyway, we're gonna take the liquid eyeliner and move in. There is this little space right here. You're gonna wanna, from the ending of your eye, bring it up to where the ending of your lashes are. And then fill it in. I have never tried to do this with a pencil before. Um, so I don't know how well that works. It just helps to create like a little wing. And I've gotten the question once I've like shared the secret. You see how much better that looks? I've gotten the question like, 
So why don't you just do a cat eye and then put your lashes on regular? Because the cat eye will go up and my lashes will go down and you will not see the end of my lashes. And I, the whole purpose is I want you to see the lashes. I don't want you to just see lashes in here and no lashes out here. Because what it'll do is kind of like this. And that's just not cute to me. So push her back up. And um, yeah, that's why I don't do that. So I just found what works better for my face. And yeah, again, drawing that line and then filling it in. Now, if you have an eye shape that you're okay with, then just take the first set of advice and um, just use the glue on your lash line instead of applying it to, you know, the lash itself. And then, yeah. So, you just gotta let that dry. I don't have under lashes. Um, I just don't. Oh, shit. Let me hold on. Hold on. When did that even happen? Anyway, I'm glad I have face oil on because, yeah, sometimes it does this shit, but like, you know what? Whatever. So, and I forgot to tell everybody, happy 420 and happy George Floyd's killer getting arrested and convicted. Well, convicted, he's been arrested. But anyway, sorry, I had to lift that back up because it wasn't on level. But anyway, now you guys see how I apply my lashes. And because I get this question all the time and everyone's like, how do you apply your lashes? How do you apply your lashes? Well, that's what I was saying. I don't have bottom lashes, so I'm not going to do bottom lashes. But back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, everybody was always asking me and I'm like, baby, this is this is how. And I've done this many a times on like my Instagram lives. But this is a video that you guys are going to be able to come back to so that you can watch it again and all that kind of stuff. Because I had to learn myself. I don't even know where I got this from. And it was kind of crazy to me that it became a trend not saying that I started this trend by any any means possible because I am not that important but like I saw this trend popping up all over Instagram and I'm like hey I've been doing that like I've that's probably why because people have been doing that and now it's become like a hack but yeah I've been doing this because my eyes drew down too low for me to not do this so I hope you enjoyed the video go hit up xx.pressure Great company, great quality lashes. I know for a fact I'm going to be able to wear these for a long time. Um, durable band, but it's very flexible. It doesn't feel like hard. I've gotten those bands that are like plastic and they're like, they're curved, pre-curved. And I feel like I put them on my eye. I feel like I'm putting on a, a plastic, one of them plastic kindergarten headbands we used to wear. I, used to, I feel like I'm putting that on my eye. This is very comfortable. These are very lightweight. I am a regular lash wearer, so... I'm a little bit biased as far as like what's comfortable and not, but like this is very comfortable to me. They're very light, very wispy. I don't feel like my eyes are coming down on my face. I've had some thick lashes before. These don't feel like that. So um, very dramatic, very curly. It's giving, if I didn't do this little lash thing right here and if I were to just put them on my lash line, it would have been giving lash extension. And that's the kind of lashes I like to see. So go ahead and give them some love on their page. Go ahead and subscribe. Comment, like, share with your friends if you think they'll enjoy this. And nice meeting you guys. I hope that I can push out more videos and I can feel more comfortable in front of the camera and do better with this editing stuff so that, you know, we can get more equipment. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for tuning in. Bye.